this is Mr. Walden. So today we're going to make these sailboats at sea pictures showing foreground, middle ground, and background. Using foreground and middle ground and background can give your artwork a sense of depth or going back in space. What do I mean when I say foreground, middle ground, background? Foreground is whatever is closest to you in the picture. Background is whatever is farthest away from you. And middle ground is in the middle. So in this picture, we have the rocks in the foreground, the water in the middle ground, and the mountains in the background. So in this picture of boats, we have a boat in the foreground closest to us. A little bit further back, we have another boat in the middle ground. Then we have the sky as the background. So we're going to use foreground, middle ground, background when we make these pictures today. So I'm going to start with two pieces of blue construction paper, one darker than the other. One is going to be sky blue for the sky, and the other one is going to be for the water. I am going to cut the darker blue the long way into three different strips. Now using my scissors, I'm going to make some waves. I am going to make them by going up and down and making slight curves in each of my strips. You don't want to do a lot, just a little bit. I'm going to use these for my foreground, middle ground, and background. Now using a crayon, I'm going to put a little bit of white at the top of all three of my strips, right on the bumpy part, right where I cut my waves out. This is going to make it look like waves on the real ocean. So I'm going to put this white at the top of all three of my strips of darker blue paper, right in the wavy part at the top. Now, using a glue stick, on the back of my different strips I'm using as waves, I am going to put glue on the bottom of my strip of paper, just on the bottom. And then I'm going to glue it down at the bottom of my paper, trying to match up the corners so it is right at the bottom. That's my foreground wave. Now I'm going to do the same thing with another strip for my middle ground wave. I'm going to put um, glue right on the side, on the straight side, not on the side with the waves. And I am going to lift my waves up and tuck my middle ground waves right under and press it down. After that, I'm going to do the same thing with my background waves. Just put glue on the bottom on the straight part, and then I'm going to lift my middle ground waves up and tuck my background waves behind them to glue it in. Take a little bit of time with this. It can be a little bit tricky. Now I'm going to show you a really easy way to make a sailboat. If you know how to draw a ship or a boat in a, a different way, that's totally fine with me. But here's an easy way if you don't. First, I'm going to make this kind of third or half circle shape. And on top of it, I'm going to make a triangle. And I'm going to put a line right in the middle of the triangle. So I have two triangles. And then I'm going to color in the bottom. And there I go. A really easy sailboat. If you'd like to do more than this, that's fine. If you'd like to put people or something in it, that's fine. If you'd like to give the sails decorations, that's fine. If you want to do a completely different kind of boat, that's also fine. Now that first sailboat I drew was for my foreground, so it's going to be the biggest one. Next time I'm going to make a sailboat, I'm going to make it for the middle ground. So it's going to be a little bit smaller than my foreground sailboat. I'm going to make it in the same way, but again, you can make yours however you want if you know a different way on how to draw a boat. Now, after that, I'm going to do one for the background. This should be the smallest of my three. I think it's good to change colors when you do this. Just give it a little bit more variety. After that, I'm going to cut all three of my boats out with using scissors. Now, I am going to glue them into my art piece. I'm going to start with the foreground boat, and I'm going to put some glue on it, and then I'm going to lift up and tuck the bottom of it right under my first set of foreground waves. When I'm done with that, 
I'm going to move on to my middle ground. I'm going to put glue down, and I'm going to tuck it under my middle ground waves. So it's just kind of peeking out. And then lastly, I'm going to glue down my background boat under the background waves. When you're done with that, I think it's a good idea if you add something to the sky. Something in the way background. So I'm going to add a sun and some clouds, but you can add anything you want. You know, planes or birds or whatever you can think of. And there you go. Boats on water collages showing foreground, middle ground, and background. Have fun with it.